How do members learn their role in the group? We come to understand our role through group socialization. Once a person joins a group, this mutually influential process begins. Individuals try to influence the group and get it to accommodate their unique needs and interests. While the group also attempts to influence individuals and persuade them to accept its goals, values, norms, and so on. Over time, the group's commitment to each member changes based on their contributions. Moreland and Levine measured these changes and identified five phases of group membership investigation, socialization, maintenance, resocialization, and remembrance. They also identified four role transitions entry, acceptance, divergence, and exit. Their model is shown here. Before people join groups, they're called prospective members in the investigation phase. Because they don't yet serve in a role, they're expected to simply observe and learn about the group. Professionals interested in a networking organization might first attend a social event before officially joining and paying dues. Once people join a group and transition to entry, they become new members in the socialization phase. In this stage, their commitment to the group increases as they learn more, get to know its members, and develop the skills needed to fulfill their roles. Because the other members don't trust them yet, they're expected to prove themselves in order to transition to acceptance. In addition, they sometimes experience role stress because they don't know much about the expectations and responsibilities associated with their new role. After gaining some experience, and the trust of others, they transition to acceptance and become full members in the maintenance phase. As established members, they're familiar with the group and how things are done. They also have special privileges and enjoy more power in exchange for more responsibilities and higher expectations. Full members often mentor new members by including them in discussions and activities. If they don't live up to the group's expectations, or if they lose interest, they transition to divergence. This means becoming marginal members in the resocialization phase. At this point, they have two options. One, resocialize through accommodation and assimilation to become full members again. Or two, transition to exit and leave the group altogether. Those who transition to exit become ex-members in the remembrance phase. People leave groups for a variety of reasons, including lack of similarity, lack of interest, lack of time, interpersonal differences, logistical challenges, and relocation. After leaving, they'll reflect on their experience as a member, including their accomplishments, and eventually come to terms with their departure. Sometimes remaining members will reminisce about those who left, especially about their long-lasting effects on the group.